Hi guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. Um, this afternoon, I'll be answering a question that I got, um, I get a lot in the comment section. So I guess we'll be starting this uh, a series of uh, videos. Starting with this one, we'll call Kwentong Go for Gold. So kung may mga iba pa kayong gustong malaman, mag-comment lang kayo below sa aking Facebook page or sa YouTube channel na to. And then, I'll try to answer more of your questions. So, today we're answering the question, Paano ba nabuo ang go for gold? Because that's the number one question na tinatanong sa akin. Um, so, medyo mahaba-haba itong kwentong to, But I'll try to keep it as brief as possible. Kasi alam ko marami naghihintay sa winner ng raffle natin. Which I will be posting after this video. Ang... Um, Siguro para magsimula, I'll, I'll start a little bit about my history. So, nagsimula akong mag-mountain bike, maybe about 10 years ago. That would be about maybe 2010, 2011. Hindi ko na matandaan ngayon. Um, and then, nag kasi sa akin mga barkada ko, college barkada, para mag-start mag-bike. And enjoy ko siya to the point na, you know, almost every weekend, nag-ride, nag-long ride, ganon. Um, and then, dumating ang Iron Man sa Pilipinas. I remember that was, So, maybe 10 years ago. So, it would have been more. Maybe started biking about 12 years. So, I been for about, mountain bike for about a year or two years. Tapos, dumating in Iron Man sa Pilipinas. Tapos, nagyaya yung mga kabay ko. Sabi, uy, sali tayo sa Iron Man. And I have, I have a swimming background at the time. Having swam a bit in, um, grade school. So, nag-relay kami. I became the swimmer. And then, si my friend Noel, um, he became the biker namin. And then, yun, si Dan Dan, yun mechanic ko sa, ngayon, nasa RD Cycles na siya. Um, siya yung runner. And then, so after that, medyo na addict na din sa triathlon. I was doing triathlon for a while. Um, and then we decided to, me and a few friends, we decided to bring in some mga products sa Philippines, mga bicycle products. At the time, hindi, hindi katulad ngayon, eh, na ang daming produkto sa market. Back then, if you wanted something, minsan kailangan mo order abroad, you know. So, um, at the time, I think I remember store hands. It was a hydration product. <clears throat> and then, one thing led to another, na pinasok namin yun, store na bicycle. So, I don't know if um, a lot of you are aware. Diba? I have a bike shop in Mandaluyo, which is Stork Bicycle. Um, and then, when we pinasok namin yan about 7 years ago, so that would be on 2013, and ang first athlete na naisip ko agad um, because I was a triathlete at the time, was si John Chicano. Um, at the time, siguro hindi siya kasing sikat na Katulad ngayon, um, but nakikitaan mo ng potential. Lalo na of course with Coach Melvin na nagsusupport sa kanya. So, pina, pinasponsoran namin ng bike. Um, you see a picture here um, from November 2013. Noon, pinaharam namin siya ng bike. And then so about... You know, we had a good relationship with Rambo. He's a good athlete and he grew. nag grow din kami as a brand. Um, and we decided to put up our own shop. That would have been about 2016. And then, in 2016, lumapit naman sa akin si um, Jerry Aquino. Um, siguro kilala nyo siya from the time sa LBC and then sa um, Philippine National Team. So, I think na walang sila ng bike sponsor or whatever. I, I don't really remember the whole story. It was about four years ago. Um, and then, so, him and George O'Connor, who won the Ronda last year or this year? This year. Parang tagal kasi ng 2020. So, he won the, George won the Ronda this year. But back then, di ba, he was still with LBC. They were both with LBC and they needed to um, get some bikes. So, we did that. Di ba, spinonsoran ko sila ng bikes. Here's a, a picture when they visited us a shop.
And then, um, so they used the bikes, uh, like LBC, they were still with LBC for during that time. Um, but I think it was the last year na na LBC, so they're probably already thinking about winding up the team. Um, and then, so when that happened, no nag uh, disband yun LBC, uh, siguro, again, a long time ago, I don't really remember. Um, si Jerry and George no apit sa akin, and then sabi nila they were asking for some help, and I said, ano ba yun pwede natin gawin, di ba? I said, kaya ko kayo tulungan, pero ano ba, di ba? Paano, paano ba? And then there was a suggestion, why don't we just put up our own team? Um, siguro at the time it's very naive. I didn't, I didn't think it would be such a hard thing to do. Um, luckily, si Jerry um, is good friends with uh, Ronel Hualda, who is our team captain now. And then Ronel is ma married to Ed Hualda, who is our coach, diba? Um In fact, I remember my picture pa yan eh. I think I'll, if I can find it, I'll post it here. Um, when si Jerry was with Ronel sa Bikers Cafe and they were talking about it and then I was planning something and then the next thing I know, tumawag si Ed sa akin and then we were talking about the team and uh, and then that's, that's so how we decided to um, form the team. So, what a lot, so a lot of people kasi, they, alam naman nila yung bike history ko, diba? Or the bike history. But, Diba, bikes don't really pay for the team eh, or they don't really allow us to have the expenses. Um, but, uh, luckily for me, diba, I work at a company called uh, Scratch It where we we make uh, PCSO products, mga scratch cards, katulad, katulad man ito. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so scratch cards like this. Diba? You can buy them at PCL so a lot of outlets. And then um they allow us to support and fund the team. So when I was talking to Eds about it and the sa team, we decided, okay, let's let's do this. Diba? Um I spoke to my boss, uh bosses here sa company, and then they agreed to support um the the team. So we made a team called Go for Gold, which is um, which is basically what the mission of the team is: is to to inspire and then to promote Philippine sports. Um, and that's why the logo namin is yung ganyan, di ba, na, the logo. Um, and then when we did that, wala pa kami, wala pa kami scratch card yun. So na isip ko. Na since we have the the brand, diba, we have the the support. Let's try to do something na ma ad, eh, all Filipinos who want to get involved, they can support as well. So that's when we came up with the scratch cards. So parang if you want to support, then you can just buy buy the scratch cards and then all of the lahat ng kita nito, diba, pumunta para support yun mga athletic programs natin. And then so of course you know yun cycling program namin you probably know our triathlete program sila John Chicano who um won uh Sea Games gold si uh, Kim Remolino silver but we also have a lot of other sports um we support volleyball we have a basketball team yung San Juan Knights uh, San Juan Knights MPBL champion um and then Sepak Takraw uh, actually, I can turn the camera a little bit here. That's my my wall of um, sports memorabilia na binigay ng mga tao sa akin ng mga NSAs that we support. So I'm very thankful to them. Um, oops, let me see if I can fix this. Again, yeah, so... Um, yeah, that and then that's how that grew. And then, so now... Basically, we um, 
we continue to support that. Yeah. Okay, so yun, dyan nagsimula yung go for gold and it's a uh, it's something that we continue to grow and then we we would we would like to ask for everybody's support if if you want to from any diba, any sports mga sepak takraw dragon boat cycling triathlon basketball um if you, you can just go to any pcso lot outlet buy our go for gold scratch cards and then help support your athletes um, yeah, uh, so that's about it. I hope that you enjoyed that cuento. Sabi ko, sorry, ma mahaba nga. Um, but now, we'll go to the raffle. Uh, before I do that, we'll ititis ko na next next um, kwentong scratch it or kwentong go for gold. Let's talk about paano sa sali sa cycling team. Um, that's another question I get asked for a lot. We don't have time right now, but we'll do that um, next time I post one of these Q&A questions. So if you have any more questions or may mga gusto pa kayong malaman, message lang below. Thank you!